childhood should be a safe and a happy time filled with loving care from adults. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. These kids look like any other kid that you see walking down the street. They don't look any different than your own children. A lot of them have had trauma and abuse in their history from family members, from people outside of the family that the family didn't even know about, whether it be at daycares or in the community. We had one little boy who witnessed um, his brother being shot in front of him. We've had children who've witnessed gang violence. We've had kids who've been sexually abused and neglected uh, by relatives. They may hit and, and, and bite other individuals, adults and others. They may mistreat animals. Frazier's Child and Family Mental Health Program is the last resort for many children. The bad news is, you know, that they started out with uh, horrific lives. And the good news is we make such a big difference in their lives by intervening with them under the age of six. If our program didn't exist, most of our kids get kicked out of preschools because of their behaviors. As you fast forward, these are the children that end up in the juvenile justice system, that end up struggling with, with their own chemical health and mental health behaviors, might end up in a residential treatment center. Dan and Annie McKizzy, licensed foster parents, were asked to place two severely traumatized brothers in their home. The youngest was Javare. Oh, he couldn't communicate with us, so we didn't know what he wanted. We didn't know what he was asking for, and he would tantrum for two, three hours, nonstop. Um, I mean, just nonstop, and there was no consoling him because he was one that you really couldn't get close to. You couldn't hold him or hug him because that was something, the affection part, that he wasn't used to. When Javari first came to Frazier, he had a really hard time trusting adults. Based on his background, he'd been through many different caregivers, many different placements, and was never able to develop a relationship with a caregiver that was trusting. Um, so part of our work was to really work with Javari and work with the McKizzies to build those trusting relationships so that he could understand that adults were safe and that adults were there to take care of him. We're grateful for that because we don't know if we would have been able to survive if we didn't have the help of Frazier and other agencies helping us. Because yeah. we had never dealt with anything like that before. The compassion, the concern, and they knew that the, the people that we worked with at Frazier knew that we were frustrated we were at our wits end and we didn't know how to handle what was going on with him. So they were real, they were really consoling mm -hmm. and they helped us through it. And if it, if it wasn't for Frazier, I don't think that he would be with us today. Really, really. I'm, get, I'm getting teary eyed now just, <laughs> just thinking about what we came through. Yeah. Um, just the, um, just as the support of them saying, you know what, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna help you through this. You guys can do it. Javari's gonna be okay. So, um, a lot of talking, a lot of communication. A lot of communication. A lot of communication. Really what we did was to keep telling the kids that they can do this and that they have all the skills and they know how to do this, they've parented before. And encouraging them every step of the way, letting them know that even the little goals and the little accomplishments are great things to celebrate with Javari because he's going to have different, um, different expectations. Because you know, even as he as he got a little older, you know, we were still dealing with with some of the behaviors, and we were like, okay, now where do we go from here? What do we do here? And they just jump right in. Um, I know Lindsay for one. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, she's oh, a godsend. She was a godsend, mm -hmm. and she came in and she's like, okay, you know what? She knew the behaviors. She knew Javari, knew what he needed, and she's like, okay, we're gonna do this. He was feeling very angry or um, upset about something. We gave him different strategies, such as ripping up a phone book or being able to punch a pillow. Um, different things that he could do, just kind of get some of that anger and those feelings out in an appropriate way. So he came home, we did the same thing. When he got into one of those, those tantrum modes, give him the phone book, here you go. And he just sat there and he ripped and he smiled and ripped and gritted and he enjoyed it. So that, that really helped, that worked. And the reason why is because we saw, we saw the improvement in his behavior mm -hmm. uh, since we were working with Frazier and we just couldn't see the little guy going back in the system. Not after all of this. Not after all this. All yes. the work that had been put in. So we were like, okay, 
We can do it now. We can adapt it. Yeah. Depending on the child's needs, Fraser provides services to assist the family, the child, and other supporting agencies. Fraser therapists use play therapy to connect with the child. The role of the therapist to kind of interpret some of that play to help them um, work through some of the trauma, if that's what they're playing out, work through some situations, some anxiety. Um, at times, the therapist may set up a certain situation if they know that a kid needs to really work through that type of situation. Therapy is provided by licensed mental health professionals. Frazier staff are some of the most highly skilled and caring experts in our community. No other program in this community does what we do with these children. So that, you know, presents not only a unique opportunity for Frazier, but a really neat opportunity for these kids in this community to get something that they wouldn't be able to receive anywhere else. Part of Javari will always need some help. He's, he's struggled with a lot of trauma in his past and that will continue to need some working on as he works through that, you know, potentially into adulthood. But at the rate he's going, we see a very positive outlook, um, really high functioning. He often will talk about his goals for the future and how he wants to go to college and be a preacher. And um, so it, he himself is seeing positive goals and positive future, which is key. I see a bright future for him and the kind of loving kid that he is and, and caring kid. I could see him helping others. Yeah, I could see that. I, I just love that. You know, we feel like a family mm -hmm. with Frazier. It's like a family, you know.